Today on FinChute, we're going to learn how to use the equity indices section of Bloomberg. Now, obviously, when we're looking for equities, we start off with our large universe and then try and bring that down smaller. Or often, you just want to get a feel before you get going as to what's going on overnight. Has the Dow moved? Has the Hang Seng moved? What did the FTSE do? Is the All Ordinaries going to do anything? Because all of these markets are interrelated, we need to get a picture of where things have gone and what's happened. Now, strangely, if I hit equity, it doesn't get me there. If I type equity on the top left-hand corner, it brings up this, which is useless. However, if I type equity, again, and let the menu bar come out, you'll see that it brings up two separate menus. The one we want is equity indice. Click on this and this will take me to my equity indice page. I find the most useful point to start is world equity indices. This brings up a snapshot straight away of what's occurred uh, in the last 48 hours and in the last 24 hours. Looking at this I have my country breakdown, a two day spark chart, where the current market is, what it last close was, my average volume at time, so what we've been doing lately, and you can see that things have been falling for the Dow, when the market closed, and what it's currently doing, and its year to date change. This is rather handy as well, simply because it gives you a snapshot straight away of what the market is, if the market is up or down uh, as a function of time. All right, so if I drill in and let's say we have a look at the Dow, I can click on that and it brings up what we call an intraday market map. It breaks up the major sectors of that indice. So in this case, I can see my pie chart on the left hand side and at a glance I can see immediately only one sector finished down. If I want to find what that was, I can hover over it, telcos down negative 0.1% and I know that they account for 4.38% of the total uh, Dow Jones index. If I, I can see the same information on the right hand side as part of a table. All securities are up by 1.38% but the big movers were financials and industrials both up by a just short of 2% with telcos as we saw before falling by 0.1%. If I then wanted to drill in and find more information, I can go to my financial sector, for example. Let's go over to my pie chart. I can look at banks, financial services, insurance, or financials overall. What this does is it breaks each sector then into a subsector. So financials, I'm now looking at the financials pie chart. Then I might want to have a look at banks. And these are the banks that are listed in there. JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America. Now, you'll note that it just brings up the codes. If I want, I can click show names. Okay, and that will show the names. I can click off show top news. Okay, and that gives me a slightly better view or a different view as to what's happened on those, on those codes. If I then click into Bank of America, it's going to take me to a place where I can start analyzing what's going on with the company, who's doing what and why. If I wanted to get a feel for what's occurring within Bank of America, I might want to look at uh, company news. So what's been released from the company that made it run up uh, so much? And straight away what I can see here are a series of news reports that relate directly to Bank of America Merrill Lynch. If I go back and hit menu, okay, it take, just takes me back to that last uh, graph. If I hit close, it drops me out again. If I hit menu, and that takes me back to my sector view, and I can go back and take a look at all of my sector views again. So I might want to jump now immediately to S&P 500, okay, and what I can see here straight away is exactly the same thing 
Okay, and interestingly here, the Dow showed me a fall of telcos, and once again, the same. I have a fall in telcos. So straight away, in two different markets, or two different indices, I have a series of equities that have fallen in exactly the same sector. This then starts to show that different sectors are linked and you can't pull away from the fact that just because one equity sorry just because one equity indice uh, falls that the next equity indice uh, won't fall as well you know I think we learnt that systemic risk definitely exists uh, and this just proves a case in point so to cover off what we've we've been through we type equity space and then equity indice then in equity indice we have current markets and in that we clicked on world equity indice and that takes us to our table page we keep it on standard view click on Dow Jones and that brings me back to my circle view or my intraday market map if I step backwards and I just want to have a look at a chart I click on the spark chart and that's going to give me exactly what occurred now what you'll find here is most likely that the non-farm payrolls was released at around this time if I hit news I can click on that and that will bring up all the news that was released um, for that time okay um, and you can see different stories that are there that may or may not be relevant this has been another presentation from Finshoot and I hope you've got something out of this